Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, March the 15th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. And the room is open between 9 a.m. and up to 4 p.m. Eastern. This should be daylight time, of course, but uh, you get the drift. All right, this has been another day in which I didn't take very many trades, but again, it's, it's quality over quantity. So let's just take a look at the... Uh, Sort of my, my big, the big winner of the day for me anyway, and I know a lot of people were in this one. Now, this is interesting because I got relatively lucky, and I'll explain what I mean by this. This is an earnings play, FTD, uh, Floro, Floris Company. Uh, earnings were released after hours yesterday. This is the, the, the uh, mole area here represent the af represents the after hours yesterday. Notice how it was just sort of basing. And then earnings came out and it dropped quite a bit. Now, I didn't actually see this one, okay? I didn't see it until I finally got this little bar here. That little pink area is the uh, pre-market today. And you see it came at 9.10. So, you know, when I start doing my, my pre-market work, I'm, I'm uh, looking at things starting at quarter to nine. So I didn't see this one until a little bit later. And then I saw this had gapped down and then I realized it was an earnings play. And so I decided I wanted to watch this. Now look how whippy it was. You know, this is this is the first five minute candle, big big drop. And the second and the third, uh, especially the the second one. I mean, you know, a high of 2021, a low of 1944, pretty wide range. This one again, buyers looked like they were trying to take it up. Sellers knocked it down. So it was a little bit whippy, but eventually I got into this trade at. That box there, 19. It was actually right here on 1967. Close enough, 668. Got into the trade right here, and I've been selling all the way down. And you know, I've sold some at 1929 before the whole number, just in case it couldn't break. I sold some at 1889. I sold some at 1865. Uh, 55, sorry, uh, just in case, uh, so I could get a dollar. I don't have very much left. And I'm not going to I'm not going to swing it, but we'll see what happens. There's no real reason for me to get out of this right now. I did say that if it uh, cracked 19, I would get out. It didn't quite make that, and so I'm still in this one. So, you know, that was uh, turned out to be a relatively after after this froth a relatively stress-free trade once you took some profits, and you can kind of hang on when 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 things whip around. Uh, now Holly had a very uh, cool day. Uh, unfortunately, I missed. What is the one I want to see? Is it Oka? No. Hmm. I'm going to have to. Uh, the problem is, is if I check Holly, I'm going to lose lose all this. So uh, that's kind of dumb. You know what? I'll just put you on hold. All right. That wasn't so bad. It was Aura. And unfortunately, uh, I did miss it. Um, it came in. Oh, okay, symbol linking here. You'll see where the alert happened. Very, uh, very, quite early. I mean, this is the pre-market action. Didn't see this. This is where the alert happened at 57.51. Look how high it got. And I'm not saying, you know, you wouldn't have sold anything. You know, this pullback might have got you out some. But even even 57.51 to 58.34, uh, 58.40, it's almost a dollar. Uh, maybe sold some here pull back, hold on, and then ride this little train up, 59.39. Anyway, just a great, great uh, alert from Holly. Unfortunately, it ran a little bit quickly on me, and I just didn't feel, you know, in retrospect, of course, I could have taken it at any, any place along here. Uh, but anyway, I didn't do it. However, I did take RSO. RSO. Oh, I see. She's still in the trade. I'm looking at the closed trades. Well, you have to trust me. The RSO, uh, the alert was at 895. All right, and she's still in this trade. I, what I did is I, I, I uh, took a look at the ones that Holly's closed, but she is still in RSO, so that's why I don't see it here. I'd have to go and find the, my, my closed window. But anyway, the alert actually came at 895. This is one that I actually watched was watching yesterday. 
And you know, I saw this break here, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if it could if it could make it through here. This could start to give us a, a bit of a trade. Well, Holly saw it right there at 8.95. I waited a little bit. I waited until it got through nine, because I just you know I wanted to uh, to kind of there's no there's no assurance, but I thought you know if you know me well enough, you know I like to play the whole number breaks. And so let's get back to the five minute. So here's the nine. See a little, little pop up, a little pull back, and then this got me in uh, 909 right here. And I did something I don't normally do. Uh, I actually added to my position right here at 9, 920. Uh, I thought, okay, a little pull back here, and then it started moving up, and I thought, you know what, this is just still strong enough that I wanted to take the trade. So I ended up taking the trade again. Uh, so I still have this position, all of it, I st and I added to it. My average is about 9.13, I believe. So I actually am thinking maybe of swinging this trade. If I do swing it, I will probably sell some just to ensure some profit. But, uh, you know, on a percentage basis, not quite as good as the other one, but definitely a, a, a nice trade from, from Holly. And I did have a Holly, little Holly loser unit. Um... I can tell you exactly where Holly actually made money on this. Got into this one at 25.63 right here, and kind of waited until this level here at 20 uh, 25.84 sort of broke broke a broke a bit of a rule. So I got in right here. I actually broke a little bit of a rule. I was going to wait for a uh, you know the break of the whole number, but I decided you know what this looks pretty strong. The market was strong. I thought well okay maybe this is just going to keep ripping up. Uh, it didn't do that. Uh, I could have taken a, a you know a little bit of profit because again I was in at 28, 2584, and I basically as it came back down I I sold out. And now look at this, it has really uh, given it all up. But you know I I'm taking fewer trades. I'm feeling better about it too. You know I mean it's sort of trading the way I used to trade. I actually said in the room that I I, I don't feel uh, as compelled to take so many trades uh, as as I used to. You know when the room was first starting and. You know, I felt a little bit obligated to uh, constantly uh, look for ideas. I mean, I constantly look for ideas, but I don't feel I have to keep, uh, you know, trading over and over and over again. We have so many great traders in the room now that they are also uh, putting out ideas for everybody. So, you know, I don't feel like all of a sudden it's going to be a real dry spell if I don't uh, say, okay, guys, uh, you know, I'm taking this trade. So this is kind of the way I used to trade, you know, a little more selective, um, you know, maybe three or four trades a day and that's it. So anyway, um, been a great day, another great day in the room and we'll see what happens on the R RSO. And you know, if it, uh, if it does hold near the high of the day, the high of the day right now is about 9.35. Uh, if it holds there, you know, I, I, I think I might swing it. 9.60 does look like there could be some resistance, you know, I'll have to bring back, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have closed down the chart. Bigger. Okay, let me get to a daily chart, and you'll see what I'm looking at. All right, what I'm looking at here for RSO. It's a great looking chart if you can get through this 960. See, so right here, this is what I'm looking at right here as a potential area that it could uh, stumble. But right now, you know, this is one great day, another great day, and if it ever made it through here, then you've got an another big, big void potentially to fill. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. I want to get back into our trading room. Um, again, as I've said every time, uh, in the text of the email, you'll see a link that shows our, um, our relationship with uh, Interactive Brokers. Great video that Brad did. Some text that'll uh, let you know what, what it's all about. So take a look at that link. And I will open the room tomorrow as usual around quarter to nine. And that's Eastern time, of course, run up to 3.30. At 3 o'clock, as I'm uh, formalizing this now, uh, 3 o'clock to 3.30, I go over what I call the evening scan. Uh, actually, I saw RSO on that yesterday. Uh, RSO was on the evening scan. And these are stocks that might be setting up for a continuation play the next day. These are stocks that are either up big or down big with sufficient volume and all. And it's just a matter then of I cycle through them all, uh, taking a look at uh, the daily charts and just to see whether or not, you know, there's a possibility that there could be continuation either on the upside or the downside if we're going short. 
And that's at 3 o'clock every single day. All right, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.